I'm Jessica Citizen from GamePron. I'm here with Mark Rain from Epic Games and we're at E3 and it seems that every second game is proudly powered by the Unreal Engine. How do you feel about that? That's fantastic. There's just some really great games and our licensees are doing outstanding work and uh, we're, it seems we're on everything. The, uh, I guess the, the points that most people probably saw watching the press conferences is there were, you know, we were in every press conference, including for the first time ever, a Nintendo press conference. <laughs> How cool is that? So, uh, and, and there's just been so much great stuff going on here, um, in addition to uh, being on the Connect Fun Labs and seeing a Fable title, Lionhead's licensed our technology now, and seeing all the stuff our developers are doing all over the floor is great. Um, love the PlayStation Vita. We're, as, as you know, we, we demoed on that when they first launched it uh, earlier this year. That's great, love the Wii U, love that our customers are doing some great games for it. Uh, Definitely want to do something there. It's just uh, just been an awesome show, and I like to say we had a good uh, a good year this week. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, but the, the amazing variety of the different games that are using the engine. I mean, people hear Unreal Engine, they automatically sort of think shooters. That's not the case anymore. No, absolutely not. I mean, we have people making puzzle games and racing games and just all kinds of insane stuff. Right. So what has been the highlight of the week for you so far, either at E3 or, or just in the Epic Universe? I think just how great the industry is. I mean, it, the, the industry had a fantastic showing this week. There's beautiful games on the show floor. Really, the quality's gone up. And something I've been saying all along, the quality, you need to be really high quality to survive. And it seems like everybody's meeting the challenge. It's great to see the new consoles. It, hearing the Vita is going to be priced at a supremely affordable price is super exciting to me. It's a, I went and played it just before I came to talk with you, and it is fantastic. I mean, just amazing. And I played this morning, I played the Wii U, and again, just fantastic. So we're really excited. Uh, there's all this great new technology, and obviously Xbox 360 is doing great. Gears of War 3 had an awesome showing. PlayStation 3 is doing great. So all the great places to ship great games. So the Unreal Engine itself, I mean, it's being used all over the shop. It's, it itself is, is progressing in leaps and bounds. So. What's the, the cool new things for the Unreal Engine at the moment? Oh, actually, we're uh, just about to release a, a new version of it uh, this month. You know, we, you know, with the Unreal Development Kit, that's how everybody else, not, yeah. not the big fancy professional developers who use source code, but how everybody else can use Unreal. They get the Unreal Development Kit. We've had over 800,000 uh, installs, which is pretty amazing, unique installs, which is pretty amazing. And that's up uh, by double since we released the iOS support in December. So we went to 400,000, 800,000. And we're just seeing some amazing stuff. In fact, uh, at some point after E3, I'm going to start writing a blog just to highlight all the really cool stuff that we're seeing in, in UDK and Unreal Engine 3 and just show people some of those cool games that you talked about that aren't what they expect. So it's just really good. We're, we're very excited. The change in the licensing costs for the engine have probably also helped increase the uh, user base somewhat. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, we looked and said, how can we help people get on their feet? Well, let them keep more of their money. That's easy, right? <laughs> <laughs> so it's, and the funny thing is, it's, it's amazingly inexpensive. You know, people talk about, talk about Unreal as being expensive technology, but it's not. Look at all the people that are licensed to make iPhone games. They're not spending the crazy big amounts of money to get a license for iPhone. So, I mean, we're really excited that, you know, we're expanding to more platforms, a lot more digital distribution. We're going to be doing some cool stuff with cloud on PC. So we're just, it's just great. I mean, like I say, we had a good year this week. <laughs> <laughs> We've been seeing some great stuff come out of chair with uh, Infinity Blade. They won awards this week and, and they weren't necessarily gaming awards either. Yeah, they won uh, Apple's Design Award. Would only three iOS apps win a Design Award, and so it's a real honor to do that. We announced on Tuesday that uh, we've earned over ten million dollars from Infinity Blade, and that, you know normally we don't talk about money, but we thought it's really important for people to understand that what we've been saying is true. These AAA premium experiences on iOS, there's a huge market for them. I mean, this is six months. In six months, we made ten million dollars from this thing, and that's just ridiculous, right? And it's still going. In fact. That was from last Friday when we hit 10 million. It's a lot more now, and it's not trouble or anything. But I mean, it's it goes up every week. People are buying this game all the time, and it's uh, we're very excited about. It. We're very excited to see our licensees come in and have similar success. And uh, 
it's just a lot of fun. And hopefully UDK uh, users will get in on the game and make some really cool and compelling apps that make a lot of money. But like I say, the main reason for us talking about, uh, talking about the money was really to just inspire people and make them think, look, you don't have to make little 99 cent games. That's not, in fact, I'm sure we're making a lot more money than most or not all, if not all, of those game, types of games. And so that's, we, we just want to get that message across. You can have great gaming experiences on these platforms, same as you do on others. So what is it that you're most looking forward to about the Unreal Engine and the UDK and the way that people are using it coming up in the future? Oh, geez. Gears of War 3. <laughs> Well, you know, we still make games too, so. <laughs> Gears is our best Gears. Gears 3 is our best Gears ever. It's so good. The campaign's awesome. It's the biggest campaign we've had. Uh, the multiplayer is amazing. Horde 2.0 is ridiculously good. Um, the beta was fantastic. So, you know, obviously, you know, we love what our licensees are doing and, and we, we love their success, but. If I tried to pick out one or two of them, I'm sure I'd piss off thousands of people. So I can, I'll just save my own game for now. <laughs> <laughs> very diplomatic of yeah. you. <laughs> well, thank you very much for your time. Likewise, thanks. <laughs>